Can I be in the middle? I don't know, it sounds like you've chosen sides, Erin. I know. Today we will be trying four different fashion trends from four different eras. We are going to decide if these items should stay in this era or get out of this era. I'm happy with the 90s. I'm over it, I'm over it. Hello everyone and welcome back to Clever Style. Hi! Very high pitch today, I love it. <laughs> In case you guys aren't aware, I'm about to introduce a very um, sophisticated word. Fashion is known to be cyclical. We'll put the definition, because I don't actually know what the definition is. And that means that trends over time tend to come back in style. Yes, I remember growing up, I used to really make fun of my mom's high-waisted shorts that she would brag about when she was growing up, and then they completely came back in style, and now I can't get enough. Mom jeans. Nostalgia is the name of the game these days, which is why today we will be trying four different fashion trends from four different eras. So we're going to introduce the era that we're going to be trying clothes from, and then we are going to style those outfits based on kind of like current standards. And then after doing that, we are going to decide if these items should stay in this era or get out of this era. And there was a lot of trends, which is why we asked you guys at home to let us know which were some of your favorites. I still feel like I dress very 2000 sometimes 80s, sometimes 90s, lots of time 90s. 90s. I love like an oversized anything. Like a Janko jeans. Oh jeans! <laughs> We're getting out of here! She's fired! You're tacky and I hate you. The first era is the 70s, and of course, bell bottoms were all the rage. We went to Instagram to ask you guys, would you prefer to see us style bell bottoms or platform shoes? An overwhelming number. You guys really wanted to see the bell bottoms. Bell bottoms were such a popular staple in the 70s. They were worn by icons like Sunny and Cher and Farrah Fawcett, the queen of the blowout. Also, my significant other, Harry Styles, currently rocks these pants. Totally. So does his past lover, Kendall. It's fine, we're not gonna talk about that. Yeah, it's disgusting. We're I'm wearing the boogie pant right now from Princess Polly. I'm kind of feeling it. It's giving me range. Yes. I know, this really does make you like move. Something I love about it. that freedom in your ankle. When I wear bell bottoms, I usually go for denim, as you guys know. But now I have a pair that are actually this, like, what is this material? It's like, it's like a very stretchy, almost jersey mm -hmm. material. Yeah. Like, it's very soft. By the way, these come with these that literally button in and you can just like, cause they're kind of strap on in. Yeah. But I was like, like, I'm feeling free today. Whoa! There's fun around every corner. I also am a big bell bottom jean wearer, so I just recently started leaning into like the flared, almost legging feel, but I've yet to try any in a fun new color. I did on this channel, if you guys remember, I wore a pretty little thing bodysuit, and it was giving me all of this vibe, very Harry Styles. Just very like, my little She's like, dance. close, but not exactly. <laughs> a little niche, maybe. <laughs> Do we think this style should stay in this era or out of this era? Well, considering that I have lots of these in my <laughs> closet, I'm gonna say in, but that's yeah. also very biased. So what do you think? I'm gonna say in as well. I think they're making them really accessible and wearable for today's day and age. Like yeah. tons of different ways to wear bell bottoms. I'm in, baby. I'm in too. I love a comfortable pant. I don't know if I could do it in a jean. I just don't like things to be too hugged, uh -huh. and this material is like breathable. I like it, I feel silly, I feel fun. You can boogie down in these for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's group tonight. Do, 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 do. Flash forward, we're in the 80s, baby. Ooh. And we asked you guys to pick either a leather coat or shoulder pads, and you guys were hating on the shoulder pads, which I have a, a qualm with that, but we'll come back to that no, later. No, as they should, they should hate Absolutely. on the shoulder pads. I love shoulder pads, for what? I don't think so. The 80s was like all about the it girls. Madonna, Joan Jett, Cindy Crawford, they all wore leather jackets. And if you didn't wear a leather jacket, you were not an it girl. I mean, this trend is never gonna die. Still, every single celebrity owns an iconic chic leather jacket. Yeah. So many different styles. Theirs are actually from Levi's, which is like more of a tighter fit. Mine's from the Commence, or Commence, not really sure how to pronounce that. And mine's like more of an oversized moment. So we have options here. Mm, yeah, I more prefer an oversized leather. It gives more of like a lived in boyfriend friend feel or something like that. I feel like if I'm gonna go oversized, I want like a true traditional chunky motorcycle yes, jacket. True. Like true. this is like a little too chic for me to be oversized, you know what I mean? It's a soft yeah. launch of a leather yeah. jacket. Absolutely. It's not there. That's it. Just so you guys know, all of our jackets are pleather, they're not real leather, and that's its own scale of prices, but you can buy a lot more options these days of like mm -hmm. vegan leather or pleather. There's plenty of styles to go around. What do you think? Do we keep it in this era or kick it out? We keep it in this era and never leaves. It's in every True. era. I think this should stick around because there's so many leather options. You can even 
thrift. Yeah. I love some old school thrifted throwback leather. I'm gonna keep it in this era too. I'm still on the hunt for like the perfect leather pleather yeah. jacket. I still haven't met her yet. And when we meet, it's gonna be a moment. Let's pop into one of, I think, the best eras of all time, the 90s. Mm -hmm. You guys voted for a slip dress over the whole plaid trend, which I kind of understand why. Yeah. I feel like the plaid trend is kind of boring. I feel like the slip trend is something that definitely went away and has come back in a new way and really resurgenced. Resurged? Yeah. Resurged. You got it, dude. In the 90s, it was this model off-duty thing made popular by Kate Moss, Naomi Campbell, and then it became very scandalous because it was so popular and chic that people started wearing it to the Oscars, which was like, uh, what's happening? This is supposed to be ball gown vibes. And then people were like, no, we're like models off duty and we can wear this anytime in any place. And I actually really get it. Everyone has been seen wearing a slip dress. Lily Reinhardt, Amrata, like it's just in right now. Yeah. I don't know if it's in for Sierra, but it's Fair. in for like society. <laughs> society sucks. I like when things can just kind of like stretch and like form to like my body. Yeah. And I feel like this dress is like telling me my body shape and not like being my body shape. Does that make sense? Yeah, yes, like you're 100%. not telling it, it's telling you. Yeah, and, you're like, and it's, no. just, it's not giving, for me, but it looks so chic on other people. Yours yeah. is a little longer than mine. So there is something, and we're all tall girlies, and I yeah. think a shorter dress suits us better. I agree, I think this needs to be shorter, and it would be, so, but you know you could belt it and belt it and then mm -hmm. kind of loop it over and then make it Wait, shorter. Wait, that's so cute. If yeah. it's short. Or you could belt it and loop it and then wear like an oversized sweater on top. To yeah. Kind of like do. You guys, I've had a lot of practice with slip dresses. I don't know if you've seen it on this channel. I really nailed a round of style three way when we tried Ooh. on slip dresses. So I feel like slip dresses are in like my creative lane. Like I'm the artist, slip dresses are my canvas. Ah! I really like a slip. I've been seeing them a lot on Pinterest lately, worn with a chunky boot. So, girl, you know I paired it with a chunky boot. Cute. But something about the slip dress does feel really effortless and almost Carrie Bradshaw Sex in the City. Like, I like this dress on me. I'm having like, fun. Yeah. She was like, this is yours. I, absolutely. I mean, it's obvious that I would keep yeah. this in the era. I'm happy with the slip. I'm happy with the 90s. I'm not gonna keep it. I'm oh. not gonna keep it. I know. I get Who it. Am I, get I? it. My Leo's really coming out right now, but it's just like, if it's not for me, it's not for anyone. That's okay. The good news is I do think this is a trend that won't last very long. <gasps> like, I think it's probably got like a few years. I did not see that coming. I'm with you. <laughs> on your tape. No, I really like it for now, but I think in like two years, I'm gonna be like, I cannot believe I wore it. Wow. So I kind of am in the middle. Can I be in the middle? I don't know. It sounds like you've chosen sides, Erin. I know. It doesn't like, sound very middle to me. What's wrong with me? Now we're in the Y2K 2000s era in these very snazzy velour tracksuit outfits. You guys voted for these over trucker hats. I actually am here to wonder why. <laughs> I hate this and I prefer of the trucker hats, but you guys, we do this for you, not for me. Sounds great for you guys. The early 2000s had a huge resurgence. I do feel like I was part of that resurgence a little bit because I really leaned in. I was having so much fun. I mean, the 2000s were the pop icons and the velour juicy tracksuit was like the it girl thing. Like Paris Hilton, Lindsay Lohan, Kim Kardashian's even kind of having a moment with it again. And people really jumped on the trends again this year. We are in the Fashion Nova velour set and it's just not the same. I'm gonna be honest, like- It was missing juicy on the butt. That's that's basically what she said. I know, but it was also like, I don't like joggers. You guys know how I feel about my calves. I always talk about it. And it was just the original was such a specific time that mm -hmm. trying to bring it back in this new way just isn't hitting the same for me personally. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. And I don't know if you guys remember, but Drew, Sinead, and I did a Juicy Couture revamp and we tried on the actual Juicy Couture Forever 21 collaboration velour tracksuit. And it's the same how I feel about it right now. They tried to revamp it to make it more modern by making it jog. And I just think the way it was styled then, you just can't really recreate and modernize it. And it just did feel really luxury on the go. This feels cheap to me now. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I sure. feel like it's a time capsule. It's a fashion yeah. time capsule. It's like preserved, you know what yeah. I mean? Like Encino Man. I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm over it. I said it. She knows. I She's decisive. It. I get it. I'm kind of with you. <laughs> I can't. I'm going to leave this out. It's just not doing it. It had its time and I appreciated that, but we've moved on. Yeah. This is out for me. I cannot get this off of my body fast enough. Same Z's. It's out. You girls keep me young. Oh, I love you so much.
Well guys, I don't know if you know this, but we've been around on this planet for like 2,000 years or so. There are lots of other trends from lots of other eras that we did not try. So are there other things that you like to see us get out in the world and try for you? Let us know in the comments. Please do. We want to know if there's more cute things we need to try and bring back. Cute is the emphasis. Emphasis. <laughs> and not itchy.